Yeah, so at the end, for, for me, friends are very important. For you, I am also not friends in Pangyo, very important, huh? very important. So at the end, it's always, you know, down to you. It all depends on yourself because, you know, your friend cannot help you every time. Your teachers cannot help you every time. So for you, it is very, very important, you know, to be your own protector. You cannot rely on other people all the time. That's why Buddha say, you know, you are your own teacher. If you do things correctly, if you do things incorrectly, you are your own enemy. So try to have this, you know, this understanding, you know. So yeah, you know, if you do things correctly, you are your own teacher. If you do things incorrectly, you are your own, you know, worst enemy, right? So that's what I'm saying, you know, this, you know, the Buddhist thing, you know, Buddhist world, Buddha, Buddhist teacher, the one thing he can really give you, you know, is his teaching. That's the only thing he can give you, right? That's our responsibility, the teacher's responsibility. And your responsibility is listen to the teaching, try to understand it, do meditation. And put those practice, you know, in your daily life. When you eat things, you know, when you eat food, when even when you go to the toilet, you know, at that time you can do meditation, you know. Because why? Buddhist thing doesn't have to do in temple. You know, Buddhist thing, Buddhism is way of life. So only in temple is not necessary, you know. Everywhere, in toilet. And the best thing you can get is teaching. You know, understand it, meditate it. Otherwise you are wasting your time. If you think you cannot do those things, you know, listen, understand, and meditate. That's what I'm saying, you know, we, we are like a tree, we are like a good tree, and we have a potential, you know. Don't let that good tree die within its own skin, right? So we all have potential, and try to, you know, fulfill your potential. Don't waste. Doesn't matter if you are lazy, doesn't matter, you know, if you are fat, doesn't matter if you are skinny. We all have this potential and try to fulfill your potential. Don't waste your time. So yeah, you know, the last thing, last thing, and last thing now. If we have, if, if, if we are having a, you know, skin problem, we have medicine, right? Skin medicine, you know, you can go and get like thousand dollars. If you, if you think, you know, you have something problem on your leg, you can go to the doctor, right? If you have a headache, you, your doctor, right? there's a doctor, there's a medicine. But do we have a medicine for our, you know, mind? So when we, when we are unhappy, you know, when we are not, happy with our life, when you are not happy with yourself, the real medicine is a teaching, Buddha's teaching. For us, I mean, you know, for the Buddhists, right? For general people, it's a te teaching of great master. doesn't matter which religion. The teaching is the real medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, practicing, uh, not just teaching. By practice, I mean making it your habit, right? By making it your habit, I mean doing it in your daily life, putting it in your daily life. So this is the thing, uh, this is the thing that we are supposed to do. So the reason why we are unhappy is that we are not taking the medicine of our mind. We say mental poverty, right? Mental poverty. That's why. Because we do not give a medicine to our mind. All we do when we are unhappy, we buy medicine, you know, we buy cream, we buy those facial surgery, you know, and things is gonna make us happy. But the real reason why we're why 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 we are unhappy is that your mind is sick. But you are not giving your mind a medicine. So the real medicine, you know, to bring more happiness, joy in our life, is to practice the teaching of our great master, regardless of all, any religion. If you do that, you'll be happy. If you don't, don't, don't do that, you know, maybe just, you know, making your face beautiful, you'll be happy for two, three, you know, days or maybe two, three hours. And you'll be back to, you know, that same, you know, sad person again. So the real thing, you know, is to practice, just not listening only, okay, Listening, contemplating, meditating. This is the three things that you must do if you think you are a Buddhist. You know, if you think that you are a responsible person, these three things you must do. Otherwise, waste of life, trust me. And last thing, sorry, and last thing, I think it, it is even more important. Right now, you know, we are, what, what we are doing is we are building a, building a, a you know, house. So if you are building the house, what we are supposed to do? To have a very strong base, right? Fundamental things, right? The foundation has to be very strong, right? So if you really want to, you know, practice those high teachings of Buddha, first of all, build a very strong foundation, which is those simple things, right? Like compassion, like love, like bodhicitta, those things, easy to understand. You know, make sure you understand those things, right? Because these days, people, do, they don't like to, compassion, all so easy, you know? understanding of permanence. So easy la. I want something more big, strong, you know, that brings very quick productivity. For example, like, I want to practice Vajrayana, Tantra thing. 
those things are not for everybody. Those things can be used and can be benefit only to the certain group of people. For us, try to build a very strong foundation. Try to understand those basic things like love, compassion, understanding of impermanence, like being, you know, practice of being, you know, uh, appreciating your life for what you have, contentment, right, compassion, those things. Because those things are more relevant to our life than those tantra thing at the very moment. Okay? So right now we are building a home. So let's have a very strong foundation first. Try to understand those basic Buddhist teaching. Otherwise, if you just, without very weak foundation, you try to build your house, finally, you know, eventually it will collapse. The reason why I'm saying is that because I see a lot, you know, I'm not just making some things up. I see a lot. Many people doing, you know, ignoring those simple things, you know, saying, ah, it's too easy. This, this is, these are for the beginners. You know, I've been Buddhist for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. So I should learn something very, you know, deep, high class, this kind of thing, which is dumb. I see this thing and I feel bad for this thing. You know, I feel bad for them. Then try not to do this kind of dumb thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> So yeah, that's about it.